We talked last week very briefly about Paula Dean, the Food Network hostess who has a bunch of shows and restaurants and all sorts of stuff being caught, admitting to being incredibly racist, all sorts of uh, uh, anti-black stuff, all sorts of stuff. The video we did went viral, about 330,000 views over the last couple of days. I got hundreds of emails criticizing me. Now, the emails were from racists. The emails were saying, I am, I am somehow, uh, I don't know who Paula Dean is as a person. What else was it? As a Jew, something, something, something. I'm a Jew, this, that, the other thing. If you're trying to defend a racist person, it's not the best thing to to call me names because I'm Jewish, right? That's not really the best way to clear a racist name, don't you think? No, unless the, the person sending you the email is trying to imply that you are less than human and so are the people that Paula Dean was insulting. Yeah, maybe that, and which is, of course, uh, even more racist. Right. We got a number of apology videos from Paula Dean. Each is funnier than the last. I mean, it's just amazing. Here's a little bit of one apologize to everybody uh, for the wrong that I've done. Uh, I want to learn and grow from this inappropriate, hurtful language is totally, <laughs> totally unacceptable. Yeah. I've made plenty of mistakes along the way, but I beg you, my children, my team, my fans, my partners, Beg for your forgiveness. Yeah. So there was that's that's one apology. Then there's another apology, which was related to sh skipping out on a Matt Lauer oh, interview. Uh, she was going to go on Matt Lauer and explain all this stuff, and she didn't. And and I guess now that's another apology. Paula Dean, I was invited this morning to speak with Matt Lauer about a subject that has been very hurtful for a lot of people. And Matt, I have to say, I was physically not able this morning. Uh, the pain has been tremendous that I have caused to myself mm. and to others. And so I'm taking this opportunity now that I've pulled myself together and am able to speak to offer an apology to those that I have hurt. Okay. So um, yeah, on the one hand, it's like a 66-year-old woman who grew up in the South is racist. It's not really news. At the same time, I'm fascinated by the media coverage of this, and I'm fascinated by the number of people defending Paula Dean, saying, hey, she said she's just from the South. People in the South use the N-word. They call people the N-word. More information then started to leak. Now everything is happening. We're hearing about everything about Paula Dean. She was referring to um, black employees at one of her restaurants as my little monkey, my little monkey. Uh, I guess it's maybe a term of endearment, Lewis. I don't know about that. Of course, never, never says it to anybody but black people. And then also, this is incredible video. This is video of her last year talking about race. Again, why she's talking about race, I don't know. And she's kind of like, it's, she tells the sad story of when her family was involved in losing the Civil War and losing their slaves. Listen to this. It's amazing. Gone with the wind. Was so devastated. The war was over. He had lost his son. He had lost the war, and uh, he didn't know how to deal with life mm. with no one to help operate his plantation. No slaves, right? You know, there was 30-something people on his books. and Oh, my goodness. There were 30-something people on his books. He owned 30 black people. Uh, Paula, do, do you understand what you're talking about here? It's not sad that he lost the help of those 30 people he had on his books. 30 slaves he had were now free people. And she's just, it was so sad. He lost the war and all those people he had on his books. Can you believe this, Lewis? I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a chain of insane racism. I really have no idea what's going on here. It seems she's just uh, it, completely unable to uh, to empathize at all yeah. with with that uh, it's very bizarre and then of course uh, being an advocate of food that in great part could be responsible for causing diabetes and then coming out and saying she has diabetes herself and her announcement of that coincides with her being the uh, the, the sponsor for an, a diabetes drug I mean just everything about this woman she's been fired ladies and gentlemen by Food Network she is off Food Network she still has millions of dollars she'll probably be fine multi-generational wealth, but at least she's been fired for a, a, a history of just incredible racism. It finally caught up with her. But I'm Jewish, Lewis, so I better be careful what I say. Yeah, that's right.